Get those tickets fast. Tickets available online or through Ticketmaster. Now, let's go over to Kelly. I think that Greg Evigan made a deal with the devil. He still looks as young and handsome as he always did. Nice to see you, Greg. <laughs> well, as we all know, art comes in many, many forms, and thanks to technology, the list of possibilities are endless. Joining me now is an artist who's known as just one name, NASA. Good morning, NASA. Good morning. Como estas? <laughs> Bem. Good. <laughs> How would you describe yourself as an artist? We see this beautiful work. We can't uh, avoid the big elephant in the room here, or tiger, as it were. This is gorgeous. And I look at this, gorgeous. <laughs> and you know what I love about it, before I finish the question? It looks as beautiful close up as it does from a distance, and that has always mystified me how you artists can do that. But mm -hmm. how is it that you can go from one medium to another to another to another? How is that? Um, I normally say that artists uh, who are able to create an, uh, their own style and be able to come up with some kind of language like this, it's almost as if we are able to use the left and the right side of the brain simultaneously. Right. Because as an artist, we are more uh, right side. Right. But then I need technique. I need, I need uh, technical knowledge to do what my feelings are, t are telling me to do. Right. So I jump to the left side when I need technical knowledge because even though I do an abstracted work, uh, in order to do this kind of abstraction, I need to, to paint as good as somebody who does a portrait. Right. You know, so it's like, it's abstract, but you can see the volume, the depth. You, you see things, you, like for example, this area here. Yes. Uh, the, the painting told me to do it. So uh, there is no, you see, you think it's all full of, of uh, texture. Yes. But there's almost no texture. It's all illusion. It is. She I makes it look like you can go see, like this. There's, there's nothing That's all here. shadowing with her brush. It's just shadowing. Uh, and it's like when you're looking at the, sh the, the, the clouds. Yes. And you see a dog chasing a cat and stuff. And the same thing. When I, I put a little bit of texture on the painting, and, and after I do it like a photograph, right. then before it dries, I make it abstracted. I abstract it. Right. So that's why I came up with the, the word abstracted realism to, <laughs> to say that. Abstracted started. realism. That's what I do. I love that. And what's great about you is, and you talked about this using your left and right side of the brain, is that you have to market your things. And mm -hmm. rather than just creating a portrait that I'm sure sells for thousands and thousands, Thousands of dollars mm -hmm. what you have decided to do is take those images and put those on things that we all can afford mm -hmm. for instance look at this bag gals is this not the most beautiful thing this was originally of course a painting mm -hmm. and you indeed use a different company and who's ever per uh, uh, telephones in here is vibrating <laughs> I just want them to know but look how gorgeous this is how does this happen Naza well, uh, this, I, when I put this ballerina, is one painting with one ballerina, right? Right. So in order to fit the, the shape of the purse, I started having to come up with ways to either multiply the painting or manipulate certain abstract areas of the painting. And coincidentally, I started seeing the same things, having the same feelings that I have when I'm doing the painting. So I started doing, I, I found myself doing Gorgeous. babies from the painting, like, generations like the second and the third generation mm -hmm. of the painting. And you know what Naza I can see I think your colors are largely influenced by Monet. Am I right in saying? Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> he uses a I, lot of uh, variations probably, of blue. Probably I think I know why you say that because uh, 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 people from from um, his the, who paint like Monet yes. uh, they use very pure colors like mm -hmm. they don't use black and sometimes you can do you can put a lot of colors on top of each other and create a certain impression but in my case I also it's like watercolor they are very bright they are very pure they are I use the white of the canvas to show through instead of white mm -hmm. so I never use black well, so I, the, 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 the paint film is very transparent. That's interesting. And before we go, I do want to show the clothing. Now, this really knocks your socks off. Here, once again, here is the ballerina image. But let's go over here. Now, this really from is... from the ballerina. This, this is one. from the ballerina? Yeah, yeah. No kidding. See the skirt here? Yeah. And then I joined them here and made this thing in the middle. I, I manipulated the whole thing. And thank goodness you learned how to do the computer and challenged yourself to use that left part of the brain because, my goodness, look at the beautiful creations. It's like uh, art imitating life imitating art again. This is absolutely lovely. And the detailing on the straps with the beading, very clever. Isn't it interesting? Did you ever think you were going to be a computer uh, whiz? No. 
No, I actually, I didn't know, about a year ago, I didn't know how to use the, the computer graphic, at all. graphic design computer in Nodes. There you go. And now look at all these wonderful things. And guess what? To see more of Naz's work, you can log on to our website. Of course, as always, it's NBC6.net. Once you're there, click on South Florida Today, and we will connect you. Congratulations on sharing your talent and Thank actually you. being a, an artist who makes some money. Thank you. Yes. The, <laughs> usually those two don't belong in the same sentence, but you've done it. Congratulations, <laughs> Thank Naza. You. Thank you very Alrighty, much. All righty. When we come back, we're going to tell you how to find the best possible deals on travel, airlines, hotels, even those rental cars that seem so expensive. Stay right there. We'll be right back. On Passions.